Racing plays a great role in the history of Mercedes-Benz, and it was at the 1955 Mille Miglia that Sir Sterling Moss achieved a record that still stands to this day. I must say, it was the only race I ever did that really frightened me, the thought of it. Because, um, you know, there was no way I was going to learn the circuit, so I'm racing blind, but a car will do 180, 190. And uh, that, that's, so what, when you go up on the ramp like that, as soon as the flag fell, no, no worries at all. Equally important, though, in that very same year, John Fitch finished fifth overall in a production class 300 SL that is little different than the car that we have in front of us. John Fitch's 300 SL was one of the first production cars of the 198 series, arriving just two days before the 1955 Mille Amelia. Amelia. He was the only non-privateer 300 SL driver. Race team leader Alfred Neubauer hired Fitch to ensure that Mercedes-Benz had a respectable finish. Fitch and his navigator, Kurt Gazelle, practiced the course in a 43 horsepower 180 diesel. Kurt was impressed by the speed, thinking that Fitch couldn't possibly have driven any faster. Fitch's thought at the time was, this will be a rude awakening for Kurt in the 300 SL. The race team graded the Mille Amelia route in terms of its hazards, ranging from X1, which meant be careful, to X4, which warned of serious personal injury if the car went off the road. Because I'd come uh, up on a long, say a very fast entry into a, a village. Jenks, if it's 100 miles an hour, 120, 100, he'd give me the signal flat out. Or if he went through and then it went right, he'd slow me down, depending how fast this, this, this was, and then show me right so I could get ready. So it helped me uh, know what the circuit was offering. Sir Sterling Moss won the race at an average speed of 95 miles per hour. Fitch, reaching an impressive 150 miles per hour at 6,000 RPM on certain stretches, won the GT class, finishing fifth overall. The production class 300 SL was based off of the Series 194 race car. That race car was extremely successful for the 1952 season. It was based on that success that Daimler-Benz decided to produce a production version of the car, the W198. One of the most notable attributes of this car is the iconic gullwing doors. Not merely a stylistic consideration, they actually did serve a purpose. Because the car had a tube frame chassis, a conventional door was not possible. The 300 SL was also the first car to employ direct fuel injection, a feature quite ahead of its time. Driving a classic 300 SL is a very rewarding experience. But unlike modern cars with their many handling and comfort conveniences, a classic 300 SL requires focused driver involvement in a more aggressive style, making one feel much like a contemporary Sterling Moss or John Fitch. The feel and feedback of the classic 300 SL with its remarkable performance and accompanying chorus of engine sounds and distinctive exhaust note makes driving the Gullwing a wonderful and memorable event. The 300 SL was the fastest production car available anywhere. Imagine a car that could go 160 miles per hour in 1954. Truly spectacular. The 300 SL is fast and reliable and loves to be driven hard. What better car to run the Mille Amelia Historica?